Namaskar, I'm Harpreet Kaur and I welcome you all to our live and interactive session. You are watching us on our eVidya channel number 10. This particular session is meant for the students of class 10 and the subject that we have taken up today is English. And under this subject, we are going to discuss the chapter number 5 of your textbook, which is a poem, The Trees. Yes, it's a beautiful poem by Adrian Rich and what exactly we are going to learn, I will be telling you the same in a short while. And uh, let me tell you that this session is live and interactive, which means you can always call us. And uh, for that, please take down our phone number, which is flashing on your screen at the moment. And uh, also, you can, you know, write an email to us. The email ID is dth.class10 at ciet.nic.in. Phone number is also there, email ID is also there and uh, very soon this session will be uploaded on our YouTube channel NCERT official also. Now, um, you know, since this session is going to be live and interactive, you must be having a lot of questions. So to answer the same, we have our guest in the studio. We are joined by Dr. R. Meghanathan. Namaskar, sir. Welcome yeah, to namaskar, the session. Namaskar, namaskar, children. Yeah. Well, sir is Professor of English from Department of Education in Languages, NCERT, New Delhi. And uh, now let's, you know, kickstart this session with a very basic question. So please brief us our students and viewers, what exactly we are going to learn in this uh, session, which is a poem, The Trees, and uh, you know, what is going to be the learning outcome of the same. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, this is a poem in uh, class 10 textbook, the first flight, uh, uh, chapter 5, uh, Trees, The Trees. So, uh, Harpreet, what do you think uh, 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 when you think of trees? Well, I think of so many things, first of all, lush greenery. Fine. Then fruits, flowers, leaves, huge structure, Great. shade. Okay, okay. all right, lots of things. Lots and, of and, things. And, and each one of us, are, are every day we see, we notice, we yes. walk along, uh, walk across the trees. Right. And, and how much we know about trees is mm. the thing. So that is what the poet okay. is trying to tell us trees but in different dimensions. Okay. So, we will kind of, since you asked for the learning outcomes, we, we appreciate the poem and understand and appreciate the poem. Absolutely. That's what, we are not going to do many, many things. Yes. And of course, understanding the vocabulary and the ideas, concepts of the poem. So, it's kind of appreciation. So, uh, let us let's begin with an activity. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, I have, uh, if you look at the, this uh, screen, hmm. uh, I am going to ask you, what do you think of trees? Uh, when uh, what what comes to your mind when you uh, think of trees? When you think of trees, I'm going to uh, 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 type it uh, as 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 you uh, say it. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. That that's what. The so first thing. Otherwise, better I write here. Yes, mm -hmm. of course we can use the top camera and yeah. you can straight away write. Uh, well, the first thing that comes to my mind is greenery. Okay, I'm writing it green. Uh, I'm writing simply green. Fine. Yes. The second one. Nests. Mm. You know, there's so many nests on trees at mm. times. Uh, nests, okay. And or birds, yeah. Mm. So, mm. I also find some insects. Insects, okay. <laughs> uh, burrows. Burrows. Fine. Shade. Shade. Fruits. Fruits. And huge structure, as I said, uh, you know. Yeah, the huge structure I'm writing here. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> huge, okay, huge trees, okay. Also, the yeah. shoots or branches, you know, coming out of it, like hands. Uh, yeah, branches like hands, okay. Yes. Mm, yeah. And Sorry for my handwriting, yeah. Mm. Also, birds. Yeah, birds. You see different birds and monkeys. <laughs> uh, monkeys. Yeah, hmm. and one is left. Now, why don't you suggest uh, something of your own, uh, yeah. you know, for that one thing that you... Let, let's skip it. Okay, <laughs> all right. So, uh, uh, if children are watching that, so this, whatever you have given in the, in this uh, 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 structure of the tree itself, like branches, uh, um, in this image, uh, we find, uh, you have said about uh, the, the physical things related to the yes. trees. Yes. So, let's wait for some time. We will revisit as we close the poem, as we uh, learn the poem and finish it, we will revisit the same thing and what and all we can add to that. Sure. Okay. Like now, now, now uh, let us get into the poem. Yes. Okay. Uh, I would ask you to read. So, here it is. Come on. Okay, sure. Right. So, let us have a look at the screen. It is a beautiful poem, The Trees by Adrian Rich and I am uh, reading it out for you. 
The trees inside are moving out into the forest. The forest that was empty all these days. Where no bird could sit, no insect hide, no sun bury its feet in shadow. The forest that was empty all these nights will be full of trees by morning. Then? All nights, the roots work to disengage themselves from the cracks in the veranda floor. The leaves strain towards a glass, small twigs stiff with exertion. Long cramped boughs shuffling under the roof, like newly discharged patients, half dazed, moving to the clinic doors. Then? I sit inside doors open to the veranda, writing long letters, in which I scarcely mention the departure of the forest from the house. The night is fresh, the whole moon shines in a sky still open. The smell of leaves and lichen still reaches like a voice into the rooms. Then? My head is full of whispers, which tomorrow will be silent. Listen, the glass is breaking. The trees are stumbling forward into the night. Winds rush to meet them. The moon is broken like a mirror. Its pieces flash now in the crown of the tallest oak. Fine, great, good reading, great reading. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, let, let, let's look at now what you after having read the poem mm -hmm. uh, is the tree of what and all you have said. Tree is actually much more than that. <laughs> that's what. You know? Okay, that, that, that's great. Okay, <laughs> now uh, uh, look at it. Look at it. The trees from the house uh, is moving out. Yes. Uh, they are moving out and, and they are breaking the walls and the windows. Why do they do that? Let's come to come to understand. So, so yes. let let let's let's revisit the first stanza. Hmm. So let me read out: the trees inside are moving into the forest. The forest that was empty all these days, where no bird could sit, no insect hide, no sun bury its feet in shadow. The forest that was empty all these nights will be full of trees by morning. Hmm. Why is it so? Well, because. The tree, you know, the tree was inside the house. Why? How did they move into the house? Yeah, that's a tricky question. How <laughs> it was planted there? Yeah. Maybe by some bird or by no, some but, squirrel? But look, look at it. The trees inside are moving into the forest. The forest that was empty all these days. Yes. So how did the forest without trees? Can we call uh, a place without trees as forest? No, but, not at all. It's just a barren piece of land. But that was forest once. That was forest So look at once. it. The trees inside the house, inside in me maybe, yes. moving into the forest. And the forest that was empty all these days where no bird could sit, no, uh, sit, uh, no insect hide, no sun bury its feet in shadow. The forest that was empty all these nights will be full of trees in the morning. Yes, because the tree is moving out. Why? Because so, it because that is not the place where it belongs to. To okay. Then then why was the forest emptied? Because the trees were not there. So we cut it maybe. Yes, afforestation, we, we deforestation <laughs> took place. So then since there was no trees, there was no bird. Yes. There was no insect. Yes. There was uh, the sunlight could not get into the you know, the, the, the shades of the leaves there. to bury, and look at the last two lines. The forest that was empty all these nights will be full of trees in the morning. Yes. So now the trees are getting back to that. Yes. So let us take the fast value of the lines, means mm. the, the, the plain meaning of the lines. The trees inside the house, uh, or the trees are moving into the forest and the forest was empty. Now the forest will be, forest will be filled with trees, trees yes. and now there was no bird, no insect. The sunlight could not get into the down, the piercing through the trees, uh, branches. Now they will all will be restored, all will happen, yes. uh, restricted. Then the, the forest that was empty all these nights will see the in the morning the forest, yes. uh, the, the, the forest and full of trees, the greens. Yes. Okay. Let, let, let's move on to um, the uh, second one. Uh, can you read again? Of course. Yeah. All night the roots work to disengage themselves from the cracks in the veranda floor. The leaves strain towards the glass, small twigs stiff with exertion, long cramped boughs shuffling under the roof, 
like newly discharged patients half dazed moving to the clinic doors so, very very interesting metaphor uh, yeah, the point is actually yes. comparing too many things here yeah. the first stand side he was only saying physically the trees are moving from the house into the forest yes. and forest which was empty will be now filled with trees now look at it all night the roots work to disengage exactly. themselves from the cracks of, in the veranda floor look at it Veranda is an Indian word. Yes. An American poet, uh, poet is his writing. Mm. We will come to that later. See, why do why does the poet use the word disengage? Because the roots were struggling throughout the night. You know, they wanted to come out, and they were disengaging. Means they were at a particular place earlier, and now they're disengaging okay, themselves. Okay, I, I, I have a question for you. Yeah. Meaning, in the the the, the poet uh, uh, must have said, should have said, uh, the 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 trees are. uprooting themselves to move mm -hmm. but the, uh, the poet has said uh, disengage probably the trees are struggling hard uh, to struggling. go back to the place where it actually belongs to and, uh, yeah that's why and that will happen slowly it cannot just happen instantly that you can just uproot yourself and move to another place okay all night the root work the roots work very hard yes. to disengage themselves because yes. they have to dis struggle know, was taking uh, yeah, place yeah they have to discard many many things in the house yes. to come out yes. so uh, we will discuss that further they have to discard many, we also have to discard many of the things when we come out of something True. so all night the roots work to disengage themselves from the cracks in the veranda floor mm. so look at an american poet using the word veranda the we'll come back to that the leaves strain towards the glass small twigs stiff with exertion mm. so they have to break the window small small things yes. and so they they put lot of exertion yes. long cramped boughs shuff, you know shuffling under the roof mm. they 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 could not calm the branches no they have to come out the yeah. way the, this picture uh, image is showing that yes. but i'm not I, i'm fine with that look at the last uh, image uh, comparison was it um, um, uh, no, simile how how do they move out of the house like newly discharged ba patient how raised moving into the clinic those absolutely <laughs> how yeah, uh, so suppose i i am ill i am admitted into a hospital now uh, as i am recovering i am discharged okay now yes. you can go home how do i walk of course i'm still not fully energetic i'm still recovering i'm tired through all the treatment i had to go through so i'm just still you know making my, way, my you know making my way out of the clinic but in a half days like half asleep half tired and I'm not tired. my fully so self so the, the trees the trees which in a way the poet wants to say yes. in a way have been caged and sick yes. are moving out they Lovely. have not much energy more because they should have been much more uh, energized happier if they were in the forest absolutely so that that's what so this is what we need to understand how the poet takes from an ordinary thinking to the uh, comparing uh, with something uh, to the another level Lovely. okay uh, yeah, let's read that all the all night that uh, roots work to disengage themselves from the cracks of the veranda floor mm. the leaves strain towards the glass small twigs twigs stiff with exertion long cramped boughs shuffling under the roof like newly discharged patients half days moving to the clinic doors so from the clinic uh, the, the the trees are coming out now i want to ask you a question hmm. so do you think that the house which caged is a clinic for the tree uh it's kind of a clinic because the tree was getting some kind of nutrition that's why it grown from a plant to a tree but again it was more of a cage or a hospital where it had to struggle to come out so you can definitely compare it to a cage or a clinic eventually the way the tree is coming out is just like that patient only and and when for your for your for your no, hel for your healthy person where he he need not be in clinic absolutely the same way i i'm i'm remember i am remembered of the what's it the fuko the famous philosopher he wrote one 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 book on uh, the clinics why do we need clinics mm. if everybody is healthier we don't need a clinic Absolutely. that that's what so now let's move on to the 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 next um, stanza mm -hmm. could you please read why not yeah, yeah. Yes. it appears yeah on the screen yeah i sit inside doors open to the veranda writing long letters in which i scarcely mention the departure of the forest from the house the night is fresh The whole moon shines in a sky still open. The smell of leaves and lichen still reaches like a voice into the rooms. Okay, I, the poet or the narrator 
still in the room writing long letters yeah. but he doesn't want to mention about the big thing happening yeah probably oh, huh? why is know, it so i think either he is not aware of the fact what is happening or he feels it's not important important but uh, <laughs> see many of the things which happen around, around the world we feel are not important but actually they have great great yes. impact great yes. impact i sit inside the door op- open to the veranda again the use of the word veranda writing mm. long letters which i scarcely mention about the departure of the forest from the house see the house is being broken yes. shattered trees are coming out but he is not bothered about it yes the night is fresh can we say that night is fresh we generally we say morning is fresh yes that why does the poet say let's come the whole moon shines <laughs> in a sky uh, still open the sky is open the moon shines the smell of leaves and the lichens still reaches like the voice into the rooms see even the the, the smell of the uh, leaves yeah. and the lichen lichen is a kind of you no know, bush like thing which grows in the tree and okay. also the kind of you no know, kind of a shrub a uh, shrub and and uh, fungi okay uh, uh, the algae like thing they grow hmm. but that smell is you uh, know occupying no spreading the entire room yeah. ent- everywhere but he doesn't want to mention it yes so Let, so can let, we say that he is a bit insensitive to uh, what insensitive, is happening? Insensitive, ignorant. Yes. Uh, so I don't know, deliberately ignorant. Oh yes. So that's what <laughs> sometimes you no, know, many many disturbing things happen. We don't mind, <laughs> and we keep walking. We we keep moving. That's what the poet is saying that you must be sensitive to us. The thing. So let's okay. come back to that. Then uh, uh, let's look at the last stanza, hmm. please. Yes, my heart. Uh, I'm repeating myself. my head is full of whispers which tomorrow will be silent listen the gu- glass is breaking the trees are stumbling forward into the night winds rush to meet them the moon is broken like a mirror its pieces flash now in the crown of the tallest oak now sorry uh <laughs> see my head is full of whispers which tomorrow will be silent yes so we we, we use which organ to wish, uh, to to uh, whisper well of course our mouth but why he saying that my head is full of whispers because probably i think he is listening to all the voices of the leaves and everything that is making its way yeah, out yeah, and yeah, struggling he, he 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 could hear the hear the sound of the leaves and the lichen yeah. and he said my head is full of whispers now i i uh, tomorrow i won't be able to listen to them exactly and and listen the gloss is breaking that yeah. even that i can, I, i can i can listen to it the trees are stumbling forward into the night yes look at it is the point is trying to say that the life is coming coming to an end and the trees are ca- walking out into the forest as trees uh, as, uh, as as the 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 uh, dusk falls winds rush to meet them Mm. so as they move out of their house the winds come to meet them then the moon is broken like a mirror why moon has become broken now ah oh, now that is tricky you have to explain this to <laughs> the me the moon is broken because the trees have gone into the uh, into the open to block the moon so oh. it's not that clean it's, it's not, not clean, clean. Mm. and you know what the stands are winds rush to meet them can we say that winds are welcoming them back to the forest that, that, that's that's right that's right then 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 the moon is broken like a mirror its pieces flash now into the crown of the tallest oak so the moon which is far away hmm. is broken and the oak tree is touching them wow. so look at so uh, who is taller for the poet now now is the oak the, tree i guess uh, yes <laughs> so that's what so th- now tomorrow uh, you, he won't be able to hear any tr- uh, noises from yes. the trees in the house it will be only in the uh, open so uh, uh, this is what children uh, if you're watching look at it we need to understand the use of language uh, the words phrases the poet uh, uh, applies to convey meaning True. so at the end of the day uh, uh, now i'm coming going to ask you uh, what is the what does the tree mean to you now before that let's uh, do some activity i would like to ask you to read again the poem uh, so that our children get that uh, uh, feel of the poem come on Abs- go ahead yeah absolutely the trees inside are moving out into the forest the forest that was empty all these days where no bird could sit no insect hide no sun bury its feet in shadow the forest that was empty all these nights will be full of trees by morning 
all light the roots work to disengage themselves from the cracks in the veranda floor. The leaves strain toward the glass, small twigs stiff with exertion, long cran boughs shuffling under the roof like newly discharged patients half dazed moving to the clinic doors. I sit inside, doors open to the veranda, writing long letters in which I scarcely mention the departure of the forest from the house. The night is fresh, the whole moon shines in a sky still open. The smell of leaves and lichen still reaches like a voice into the rooms. My head is full of Hello. whispers, which tomorrow will be silent. Listen, the grass is breaking. The trees are stumbling forward into the night. Winds rush to meet them. The moon is broken like a mirror. Its pieces flash now in the crown of the tallest oak. Now, we have got some questions for you. Okay. Uh, the, the, the children there as well as you. Absolutely. Uh, where are the trees now at the beginning of the poem? Hmm. So, there are, okay, there are a few options, but okay. I think the correct answer is inside the house. Okay, inside the house. Okay, uh, now, now, now I should read all the options. So, why are the uh, why are why are there no birds, insects? Because there was no trees in the forest. They have they have moved into the house. Uh, they are all extinct. There are birds and insects in the forest. You can have more than one answer here. Uh, well, A is appropriate, I guess, because uh, yeah. there are no trees in the forest. Then, what about the second one? Uh, is they, it? They have moved into the house. Yeah, they oh. move to the house. Yes, of yeah. course. Yeah. So now <laughs> they want to be with yeah, the tree. Yeah. And now, now, little philosophical. What is dis disengagement here? I think to come to out come of the house, hmm. to come out of chains, uh, to be tree, to to be free from all shackles, to live where one is supposed to live. I think um, to come out of floor of the house. In this context, it means the same. Then philosophically. I think to be free from all the shackles. Uh, yes, that, that's what. Okay, okay, great, great. Now, uh, why do uh, why do the leaves strain? To be free, I guess. Fine. Well, uh, so, what do you want to uh, tell, tell our students of class ten? We should strain to be free, free and yes. successful. 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 So true. So, so, uh, why why does not the narrator, the poet, mention about the departure of trees in his letters? I think you know the narrator or the poet does not understand the importance of the situation. So, does not understand the reality yes. uh, on the ground. Yeah. Uh, okay. Does not know it. No, she knows. He knows it. She does. She doesn't think it is important. Yeah. Yeah. That's deliberately what, ignoring it. Yeah. Whatever D, she wants to escape from life. There I'm are people. Huh? Yeah, but yeah, there are people who actually are not bothered. But with he what is, is writing happening. letters, so that he he doesn't want to. He or she or doesn't want. Yeah, to. doesn't want to get disturbed. I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Why does the poet says that of whispers which tomorrow will be silent? Because there will be no trees inside the house. Oh, great. And there will be no trees inside the house. Sorry, second one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. We are running out. Of, who Time. is free now? The poet, the trees, the humans are. No one is free. The trees, as far as the poem is concerned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Humans are not free. No. Okay. Now I have I have the last one to ask you before we have I think a minute or so. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Now the again the same uh, same uh, image is here. The first one we have done is you said all the physical things about tree. Yes. Yes. Now. You compare it and and come come to uh, come to the end of the poem. Ha, what have you understood now? What does a tree mean to you? Come so on. So very quickly, I'll do that. It's freedom. Freedom, fine. Breaking boundaries. Okay, breaking boundaries. Going back to its native place. Okay, boundaries. Uh, be in your place. Your be in your place. I'm yes, right. be in your place. Mm. And uh, of course, uh, you know. Uh, being welcomed by the forest, the trees, insects, and uh, you know, feeling welcoming at your own yeah, home. Yeah, uh, 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 feeling welcomed. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Then and uh, now, sir, because we are running short of time. Fine. So All right. Yeah. We we'll leave it to learners yes. and teachers. Uh, you go ahead and and interpret it, understand. And I would like to before we close, uh, give you a kind of work. Please read the poem two three times uh, initially. Then try to uh, interpret, and I also uh, have a submission in a way. Try to uh, translate the poem, transcreate the poem in the language which you know. Okay, thank you very Absolutely. much. Absolutely, thank you so much, sir, for your contribution thank to you. the <laughs> session. And with this, it's a wrap. Please stay tuned for our next live and interactive session. This is me, Harpreet Kaur, taking leave of you as of now. Namaskar. <laughs>